So, I was in the beautiful city of Venice with my friend Bailey, and we were having a holiday. Oh, don't pretend you don't know what that is. Holiday. Noun. A vacation you take with your single friends to, um, you know. Don't judge me. You know you need a holiday. So, me and Bailey had already been to two cities on our holiday. London and Paris. Ah, oh, I love. But we still hadn't had the European romance of our dreams. You know the kind I mean. One of those sweep-you-off-your-feet iconic romantic affairs that make you feel like you're in an old movie. Or Passport to Paris. For me, there are three essential parts of the European dream date. One, dance under the moonlight. Two, he takes you to some spot only the locals know about. And three, he gives you a kiss that makes you feel dizzy. Not like to the point of needing medical attention, just like a little lightheaded. But we were really tired after London and Paris and only had 24 hours in Venice. Oh my god, what is my life? Anyway, after a long day, we still hadn't found any men. Just lots of cheese and shoes. Oh my god, so many shoes. <sighs> wait, 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 too many shoes. Help, help, help! But that night, we went to this block full of restaurants. And that's when we saw him. The hottest waiter ever. He was gorgeous. Blue eyes, pouty lips, and hair that seemed to say, <sighs> Run away with me in the gondola. We should eat there. Uh, yeah. We sit down and I legit could not stop staring at him. And he could barely speak English, which weirdly made me love him more. Buena Sara, I'm Marco. Ah, <sighs> accents make everything better. Marco was my guy. I could see it in the way he brought me ravioli and grated extra Parmesan on top. <sighs> Amber? Amber! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's enough. Okay, we're fully in love. Look, I know I'm always falling in love with waiters, like America, peep the first episode, Venice, it's like, you know, where's next? Is this the Runaway with Waiters World Tour? That's when the manager came out, and he was conveniently obsessed with Bailey. He was like 45 and balding, and when Bailey first saw him, she was like, no, 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 no. But then he opened his mouth, and she was like, Oh, si, 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 si. Bella, bella. <sighs> Accents, guys. They're like the beer goggles of the ears. Suddenly, this guy wasn't old. He was distinguished. Maybe even royal. Like, maybe he's just balding because of the weight of his crown. I don't know. Anything is possible in Europe. And then he brings over Marco. And he's like, we're closing now. Give us a second and we'll all go out. Bella, bella. Oh my gosh, thank you, balding man who might be royal. So me and Bailey step outside, and Marco finally comes out looking like a snack. And his friend comes over looking uh, how he looks. And Marco's like, Bella, let me take you to this tiny little wine bar. <gasps> Just like my fantasy! A spot only the locals know about. Wait, but what about Bailey and... Bella, Bella! Okay, she's fine. So me and Marco get there, and it's just like I imagined. This little hole in the wall where everybody's sexy and stylish and talking about, like, Italian stuff. I don't know. Me and Marco can't fully understand each other, but, you know, there is such a vibe. Ti piace il vino? <sighs> oh my god, did he just, like, ask me to marry him? <gasps> I don't know if I'm ready to get married yet, but I could be convinced. And then he asks me if I'll go dancing with him. Um, dancing? Yes, please! And he brings me to this piazza that's all lit up with twinkle lights and starts twirling me around. It was so magical. And then I look up, and there's the moon! Ah, dancing under the moonlight! All my dreams were coming true. I was about to kiss him, and he goes, Shh, not here. Ah, so hot. Okay, you can only shush me if you're Italian and we're dancing in a piazza. Don't you dare try to shush me in America at like a McDonald's drive through so then he takes me to this bridge that was seriously something out of a movie. <gasps> and he picks me up, sits me on the edge, and kisses me. And he's like leaning me back, and then... Ah! <laughs> Just kidding. But he was leaning me back, and I was a little scared, but like in a fun danger way. He was holding me tight, and it was just... <sighs> Then he pulls me up, and I legit, like, saw spots for a second. Oh my god, it happened! I got my dizzy European kiss! <gasps> I'd officially fulfilled my fantasy. Oh, Marco, you've given me everything I could have ever dreamed of. I don't understand what you say. That's okay. I'm used to men not understanding me. 
At that point, we'd been out all night, and I had a flight to catch in like two hours. So he walked me back to find Bailey and kiss me just as the sun was coming up. Perfect. It was the most romantic night of my life. When I came home, I told all my friends about him. Marco, my long-lost lover. I mean, I figured I would never hear from him again. We didn't have each other's numbers or literally anything. But then... Ah! Marco found me on Instagram. Oh my god, what did this mean? Would he come visit me? Would we have some kind of international long-distance love story? <gasps> and eventually get married in front of a castle? Okay, I might get a little extra with the fantasies. But when I looked through his pictures, I was like, oh, look at him hanging with his sister. And having dinner with his sister. Aw, making out with... Wait, that's not a sister. That's a girlfriend! Ew, what? Marco has a girlfriend? And hold on, <laughs> his name's not even Marco. It's Sven? Who? And he's not even Italian! He's Estonian? Estonian? I mean, no hate to Estonia, but <laughs> just this guy had completely lied to me. I might have been living in a dream world, but at least I didn't lie this time. And I wasn't a cheater. Ew. Ugh. Ugh. That just totally killed it for me. The Runaway with Waiter's World tour was canceled. But weirdly, even heartbreak is more romantic in Italy. Oh, Marco, how could you betray me like this? <sighs> I guess some fantasies really are too good to be true. There was only one thing that could fix this. Another holiday. Hmm, where do you guys think I should go next in search of love? Until next time, my beautiful Bellas. Ciao. God, that was honestly one of the best nights of my life. You know, honestly, I just like pretend to forget about the last part. That never happened. He was single and we might still get married under a castle. <laughs> okay, so I'm extra at the fantasies in real life too. P.S. I'm going to be taking a break over Thanksgiving, so there's not going to be a new episode for a minute, but we will be back with a bang in uh, December, I think. So there's going to be some blooper episodes and a fun uh, holiday extravaganza super special episode featuring all my friends and some very special guests, so you won't want to miss it. P.S. P.S. <gasps> there may or may not be some limited edition cartoon merch coming out for the holidays, <gasps> so you can sign up on xoamber.com for all of the latest updates on that. And for now, that's that on that. Till next time, me and me will see you very soon. Happy holidays. See you in December. Right, Amber? If you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> that never gets old. XL. <laughs>